If you're trying to figure out how to use new AI tools to rank blog pages for your website and grow traffic to your website, whether that's your business or your personal blog or anything like that, great, you're in the right spot. I'm here to tell you that it actually is working. Um, that's probably one of the biggest question marks I had before I got started and invested in using software to try and drive more traffic to my website and my businesses using AI blogs. But I'm happy to report that the uh, blogs are getting indexed and they're ranking, but you have to follow a specific process because it's not going to generate content that's good enough to just rank for anything, especially high keyword difficulty keywords. So there, if you're trying to build your agency, your businesses, or just leverage new AI tools, let me show you exactly what I'm using and how it's working so that you can judge if any of this makes sense for yourself. But I thought I'd share my kind of straightforward three-step process that I have going and uh, and how that works for me so that you can judge whether or not that makes sense. And I'll also share in the links below the tools that I'm using to make this happen. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, here's the results I'm seeing. So you can see that I started using some new AI blogging tools um, right about here. So this was October of 2023. Uh, as this recording, we're in the beginning of January of 2024. So you can see in my Google Search Console results, and this is for my KeeganEdwards.com website, which is just a blog and links to a lot of my businesses and things like that. You can see that I had a lot of unindexed pages, and actually I only had you know very few index pages, only 137 index pages on my blog to start this because I just had 137 blogs was a lot to write um, before AI, right? So I wanted to experiment with new tools. And you can see that as I did, Google did index these new blogs that I had. And now I have 981 index, 656 not indexed yet. Now I'm on WordPress for my blog. Um, so the tool that I found to use was pretty great because it connects directly to WordPress. And I'm going to talk about that for a sec. So not only are my pages getting indexed and you can see the amount of green here and you know, this is going up, but it's just because I have more and more blogs being generated that are getting indexed eventually. Um, but here's the other thing that I'm doing. So if I go over here to, uh, performance and let's check out, you know, you can see the clicks starting to go up here, right? The traffic start to generate. But if I go over here to pages, you can actually see, a lot of traffic starting to be generated because of these blogs too. So let me just go here. So best side hustles in Florida. That was something I was playing around with plumbing side hustles. You can see the clicks starting to happen because these blogs are starting to rank, right? Um, which is great. And you can see that they're ranking across a ton of different categories. Most of my blog is centered on like marketing strategy, side businesses, things like that, um, to try and drive traffic for my new business, Mighty Sites too. Um, so I include backlinks and that sort of thing. But you can see we're getting clicks across the board now and starting to rank pretty consistently. Uh, so both indexed and ranked for all these blogs that I'm generating with AI. Pretty awesome stuff. So what am I doing that actually is making this work? Well, let me, let me show you and, and talk about that a little bit tool I use is SEMrush. It's great. I go to the keyword magic tool, and this is where I use this to find keywords that I want to target. So the way I do this, I might do something like marketing strategy. And you'll notice a lot of blogs on my, my website about marketing strategy. And then what I do is I go over here to the keyword difficulty tab. Um, so this is pretty excellent. And you can see uh, my screen's covering it up, but it just means how difficult is it to rank for that. And it's going to show you a bunch that it's really difficult to rank for. I might just go over here to like marketing strategy plan or something like that. And then I sort this by keyword difficulty to get to the green. So I can see the ones that are not that difficult. So developing a marketing strategies and plans PDF, probably wouldn't use that because I don't have a PDF, but marketing plan versus marketing strategy. Okay. That's pretty cool. That actually has a volume of about 40 searches a month. That's what that tells me. So there's some volume. Like if I put it, create a blog, people are going to use it. Um, and then easy. So it's just a 28 and in green, you'll need quality content focused on the keyword, but it's pretty easy to rank for. And that, then I can click into this and I can open up a bunch of other tools to see related keywords and things like that too. Um, but basically what I'll do is I'll just select a bunch and download a CSV. For the purposes of this, I'm just going to copy, well, I'll just I'll write that right over, but I would just click on this and download a CSV for this. But um, for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to use this, uh, just type it in. So I go over here to Journalist AI is the tool that I'm using. It's been pretty excellent in terms of all the tools for generating a blog article. So I would take that and I would just go over here and I would first select keywords. So I'm going to go right here to generate articles. And this has all sorts of tools for like automatically blogging. Um, it integrates with WordPress, which I'm going to show you too, which is pretty cool. But I'm just going to first select the um, developing uh, right over here, marketing plan versus marketing strategy. So I'll go marketing plan versus 
marketing strategy. And then, so that's the keyword I'm targeting. And then the type of content, language English, you can choose the creativity level. I'll just leave that there. Point of view, I'll leave automatic for now as well. Um, you can also do custom instructions. And then knowledge, connect to the web is one extra credit, but it'll generate more up-to-date content. I think this is more evergreen content, so I probably won't do it for that. But if you're writing something that you know has more timely uh, necessity, you could do that there. Um, formatting, and jump right in here. Bold, gray uh, tables, if appropriate. I kind of like that. Structure my website. We'll add an H3. So call to action. I could put in. I'm not super concerned about a call to action. Right now, I'm just trying to generate the content. Internal linking. This is where I do probably want to put in my sitemap. So I'll go over here to um, click on this. And then let's go open a new tab. And then just go to my website. Post sitemap. There we go. So I'll probably use that. So that's the post sitemap. So I think that'll be pretty good. That leads to all my all my posts. So I'll put in sitemap, post sitemap, great. Um, and then I'm gonna go to external links. I don't wanna add any, but automatic external links is nice. It'll scrape the web and just kind of pull in links. Now that's just gonna make it seem like more relevant to Google, right? An article with links always makes a lot more sense. You can also exclude websites if you wanna like make sure they don't link to a competitor or something like that. You can do that here. Images, I'll just use Google Images. Um, you can also select from custom images, stock images, or you can use extra credits to uh, create AI generated content, which, uh, which could be pretty cool. You can choose whether articles appear in it or not. I'll just leave that off for now. And then how many articles for that keyword? I'm just gonna do one. And then I just click on that and then it's going to start generating the articles for me. Okay, so now as you can see, Journalist AI has just generated this blog for me after off all those presets. And you can see it's a pretty awesome blog. So you can see there's a table of contents here with everything that's in the blog. You can see that it's 2000 words, which is fantastic. Um, and then you can see it's got key takeaways. It's got outbound links that it created, or these are actually internal links. So you can see like, here's one. Uh, if you look in the bottom left of my screen, you can see where it goes on my site. Um, you can see that uh, in here, you can see that it this links out to Investopedia, which is fine, an article about marketing strategy. So now it's got like relevant outbound links and internal links, which is making this, you know, feel like a way more legit human created article. Now, if you scroll through, all of the article is really helpful too. So it, it actually talks about, you know, relationship between planning and strategy, how they work together, um, has a nice conclusion, has FAQs at the, at the end. It even gives me an example meta description that I can use. Now here's where Journalist AI is great. You can see here that I've got my website already connected, my WordPress site. So I'm just gonna click post integration, right? So now I click on that button and it's automatically gonna post it to my WordPress site. So if I go in here and I just click on refresh, now I've got this. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm using Yoast SEO, but I'm barely using the tools and this is still working. Um, so if I actually double down into Yoast SEO, I think that I could even probably rank more quickly, to be honest, but it's just not something that I've done consistently. So I just go in here and you can see, uh, for me, if I go into, I just usually do quick edit and this is a marketing strategy. So then I'll just kind of add marketing strategy here. So I'll just add that as a tag that feels right. Uh, maybe I'll just add like a general marketing. So you wanna have the tags so that they, you know, keep keep your content connected. Um, so I'll just update that real quick. And then go in here to edit. And I usually, just because of the structure of my blog, I just insert a read more tag there. Um, and now you can see that Yoast is giving me some feedback about readability. So I'll probably just check that out quick and address it. Um, I'm also going to put in that keyword that we had. So it was marketing plan versus marketing strategy. So you can go right in here and go marketing plan versus marketing strategy. And let's see what Yoast thinks of that. So update that and you can see both are kind of like, it's saying, okay, but this is why to get it to work in a timely way. And again, you can play around with your strategy, but for me, it was just, I'm going after low keyword difficulty, keywords that are associated with what I want, you know, to create content on, which is marketing strategy, essentially, um, especially small business marketing strategy. And then I'm going to jump down here um, and then I'm just going to copy this uh, meta description and paste it in here because I didn't have one before. 
just update that. Um, let's see what else it says about my readability. Consecutive sentences with the starting with the same thing. So I'm just going to click on that highlight button there. Here it is, marketing objectives. And then, okay, so they all start with marketing, right? So it's like, um, so I'll just probably change that to your marketing objectives. And now we turn green, right? So I got rid of that section with three sentences all starting with the same thing. So now the readability is great on the blog, um, which is awesome. So as I told you, Journalist AI, I think specifically, and again, the link is down in the description um, for a free trial. I think they create the best content for blogs um, and give you the most tools. So that's that's been my favorite so far for all the blogging tools. Um, for the SEO, let's just check this out and see key phrase density was found 31 times. That's more than the recommended maximum for 21 times. So let's just highlight that um, and just see something in the marketing plan plays a crucial role. Marketing strategy plays a cru crucial role in, in driving. I'll just put how you plan your marketing. There we go. So that's like help. So now it's 30. Okay. As you can see, I just decided to edit the SEO title tag. Um, that was easier than just picking through the keyword density. So now Yoast has given me two greens, both for SEO and readability. I just changed the SEO title tag to marketing plan versus marketing strategy explained, right? So that kind of sums up what this article is about. Great. So now I'm optimized. So last thing to do um, is it's published. And so I'm just going to grab the URL. So let me do that. Okay, so I've copied the URL. And then the last thing for me to do is go back where I started to Google Search Console. I'm going to paste in the URL. And you're going to see it's not on Google, of course, because I just published it. I'm going to request indexing now. And of course, this just takes a minute. Uh, but once that's complete, that's my three-step process, uh, SEMrush for the keyword, low keyword difficulty, journalist AI to generate the content. Then I go into uh, post it to my WordPress site and use Yoast SEO to clean it up. And then um, eventually, usually in just like a month or so, it gets indexed and starts ranking for the keyword I'm targeting as long as I follow this process. So I hope you can use that to grow your blog too. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe, um, please like it to share it with others. It's a great helpful way for uh, others to help grow their business by using AI blogs to get indexed and rank more quickly. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll catch you in the next video.